All right, so today's review is gonna be on one of my favorite gun manufacturers, which is F&H or Fabrique National Herstal. It's a uh, Belgian um, gun manufacturer, and I'm a big fan. I own a few guns from F&H, and the two that I'll go over today is the FN57 and the FN15. So without further ado, here's my Case Club case that I like to keep them in. I call this my high caliber case, and you'll see why. So here we are. FN57, pistol at the bottom, and flat dark earth, and my FN15, AR15, multi-caliber. So, go with the FN57 first. This is actually my second one that I own. I had one and sold it, which I should have never did because I couldn't find it again a few years back. So they come with three 20 round magazines. I do have a 30 round magazine for it as well that I kind of take to the range when I don't feel like reloading. Um, will not shoot without a magazine in. So it's one of the features of it. Um, pull the trigger, nothing will happen. Has to have a mag to shoot. Um, got this one in flat dark earth. It has a adjustable rear sight, front sight. Um, I love this gun. First time I shot it, I ran, I was in California. I ran the target back 100 yards. I put like eight out of 10 on target. And um, wasn't a tight group, but I was hitting paper from 100 yards, which was impressive to me. So I, I kind of love it. Uh, to the, the round is, uh, like I said, 5.7 by 28. It's a uh, high velocity round. I mean, it has, the recoil is real low. I mean, it's like shooting 22. It's just So you stay on target, but uh, the rounds are, like I said, high caliber. They're decent rounds. I love it. I don't have any on me right now because it just went to the range and I need to replenish, but uh, I would show you. Um, so that's that. That's my, that's my FNH 5.7. I love it. Not a complete gun review because I can go on for days about it, but just wanted to show that one. And my FN15. So this one took me a while to, to buy it because I didn't really know what I wanted to get at the time. And um, I saw the FN15. I know a lot of uh, law enforcement are going to this one. Um, so I, I kind of wanted it. I, I kept the most of the original pieces that came with it. It had the, the FN quad rail. And um, I took off the FN um, rear sight and I put in Magpul pop-up rear, um, Magpul angled forward grip, and I put a Fienar on it. I know a lot of people may not know what a Fienar is yet, but it's a part of your thumb. I'm not a doctor and I don't get all into that, but it's a part of your hand that's called a Fienar. Anyway, it sits right there. So when I'm holding it, it'll sit right there. As you can see, let me turn it this way so you can see it. So when I have my angle fork grip, it'll sit right there. It's called a phenar. It's supposed to something ergonomically correct. I don't know, but I liked it. So I got that. And I have the EOTech EXPS2 on it. I didn't go for the three because that night vision came full. I wasn't going to be running any night vision. So the two is, is good to go. I know some people aren't a fan of EOTech. Either way, I don't care. I like it. It works for me. So it's my FN15. I want to point this at my son. Let me get that back in there. I have, uh, I'm running Magpul Gen 3 magazines with the window. I'm running 223 out of right now instead of 556. I say the 556 for the, for the zombie apocalypse, I guess. But these 223s I'm running for target practice. And, um, and I think that's about it. I think for one other thing for the 57, I know there's a few law enforcement agencies that, that carry this. I think Duluth County, Georgia, they carry it. Passaic County, New Jersey, SWAT team, I think carry this one. And um, Secret Service, Secret Service carry the, the five seven. So that's, a, that's it. I guess that's it for my, my high caliber case. I'll come back uh, another day and, and put another review on. Maybe I'll go over my my uh, carry weapons because I haven't talked about those yet. I kind of just talked about the all awesome, my uh, Desert Eagle, the 1911, my FN. So I'll be back with another review soon. Later.